Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello everyone, let us begin seventh lecture and in our seventh lecture we will now start looking at electrochemical nature of corrosion and its thermodynamics. So, lecture 7 electrochemical corrosion and its thermodynamics. Now, when we talk about this electrochemical nature, we will bring in uh, the examples what we have already discussed in our earlier lectures. The example is if we have a zinc plate dipped in dilute HCl solution. and this is a zinc plate let us say. Now, once we put in that zinc plate, we see that the bubbles are forming on top of zinc surface and these bubbles are nothing but hydrogen gas. Now, if we analyze this particular reaction because these bubbles are forming because of some reaction, then we will see that one reaction is this one. This is anodic reaction or we call it oxidation. Now, two electrons are released by zinc atom and it goes to zinc ion. Now, electrons cannot remain free. It has to be balanced by some mechanism because the total amount of charge is constant in this universe. So, we call it charge conservation. So, these electrons will be accepted by some other reaction. The other reaction is nothing but H plus plus 2 E it goes to H 2. Now, this is a reduction reaction. and we also call it cathodic and this is anodic. Now, if we combine them, then we will see that 2 H plus plus Z n 2 electron these two are cancelling each other. So, that means, we are maintaining charge balance and then also we are maintaining the conservation of charge concept. So, that becomes H 2 plus Z n plus plus. Now, this is the complete reaction. Now, as we have understood before that when some metal ion metal atom converts to metal ion. So, it goes into the solution and that one we call it corrosion. This is nothing but corrosion. So, oxidation is nothing but corrosion. Now, in this case interestingly this is the complete reaction, this is the complete reaction or if we consider the another species that is present in the solution which is chlorine ion. Now, that chlorine ion will react with zinc plus plus, so it will form zinc chloride. So, the complete reaction uh, we can also write in this form 2 H C L plus Z n equal to Z n plus 2 C L minus plus H 2.
So, this is another way to write the cell reaction. So, here I am sorry that we missed one plus sign here and finally, from this we can write this reaction. Now, this is the complete cell reaction and in order to have this complete cell reaction, we have to have two reactions one is reduction another one, one is oxidation they are running parallelly. Now, interestingly if we see uh, in the reduction if we take only the rate part and in the oxidation if we take only the ox part, if we connect them then it becomes redox. And when we have redox reaction then only we have this complete reactions. So, for the complete cell reaction which is nothing but the redox reaction, it has got one reduction reaction and one oxidation reaction. And when we have this redox reaction, we have the corrosion of zinc in the form of zinc plus plus ion. And this redox reaction is important in the sense that only oxidation cannot take place or only reduction cannot take place. See, if there is one reduction reaction, there must be one oxidation reaction, at least from this particular example, it is very clear. And then only we have complete cell reaction. And interestingly, in the redox reaction, we have the number of electrons accepted by reduction is equal to number of electrons generated or released by oxidation reaction. This is very important aspect and that maintains the charge balance and also the charge conservation. Now, this also reflects a kind of rate thing in rate uh, kind of aspect. Rate means per unit time. Now, if we have this particular reduction reaction happening at a different rate than the, the second oxidation reaction, then there will be a cumulative charge conservation, charge consumption, cumulative charge consumption. This is nothing but the consumption. and this is generation. So, what I am considering that if we have more amount of the number of reactions of this first reaction which is reduction reaction happening at a much higher rate compared to the second reaction which is oxidation. That means, at any given time we have more amount of electron consumptions than the generation. So, which will not maintain this charge conservation. So, in order to maintain charge conservation, the consumption of electrons per unit time should be equal to generation of electron per unit time. So, the rate of reduction should be equal to rate of oxidation and since oxidation is nothing but corrosion, so it becomes rate of corrosion. This is extremely important concept, the rate of reduction is equal to rate of oxidation or corrosion. Now, if we go to see uh, some other considerations. For example, in this situation the example what we have considered in the previous case you have zinc and same HCl solution dilute and in this if we have let us say if we have little bit of FeCl3 a small content it, it is considered as impurity. 
then the situation would be different. Now, before considering this situation, as we have seen that if the previous case, if this particular condition, if it is happening at a particular temperature and pressure, if we maintain the temperature and pressure and if we make it a closed system. So, this reaction, this particular reaction would reach to equilibrium. Now, when it reaches equilibrium, then this reaction, it also reaches equilibrium. So, now if we consider this particular reaction, the forward reaction is nothing but the reduction reaction. So, this is reduction. Now, if we remove this part, this part, so then it becomes only red and interestingly reverse reaction is nothing but oxidation and if we remove this part, then also this becomes a redox reaction. So, combinedly it becomes another redox reaction. Now, in the beginning of course, hydrogen ion gener hydrogen gas generation would be very fast rate. Now, if we consider the rate criteria time rate in the beginning we have huge amount of hydrogen ions in the system. So, the rate at which hydrogen gas will be generated will be very fast in the beginning and as we have time lapses then the rate will decrease and it will be like this. It will flatten out that means, thus it, it reaches steady state. Now, when this particular thing is H plus plus 2 equal to H 2. Now, once we have a generation of hydrogen, the reverse reaction would start happening. So, the reverse reaction would take place now. Initially, it was almost no hydrogen gas. So, it will start with a 0 and then it will also merge with this particular rate. So, this is H 2 minus 2 equal to 2 H plus. So, this is the point where it reaches equilibrium. So, the rate of forward reaction is exactly same as the rate of backward reaction. Similar situation can arise zinc plus plus zinc can go to zinc plus plus. Here the forward reaction is ox and the backward reaction is red reduction. So, this is also a redox and it also reaches equilibrium when the system reaches equilibrium. Now, interestingly for this complete cell reaction 2 H plus plus Z n equal to Z n plus 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 H 2 it is combination of this reaction and this reaction. These two reactions are electrochemical in nature because it involves electron acceptance or electron release and they are called Hupp cell reaction. So, this is Hupp cell. This is one Hupp cell, this is second Hupp cell. which combines and then forms a complete cell reaction. Now, coming to this example, when we have dilute HCl and we have little bit of FeCl 3. In the previous case, we have one reduction on one oxidation. Now, interestingly in this case, there will be one additional reduction reaction. Now, let us see what is that additional reduction reaction. First, first in this case, case first reaction would be definitely 2 H plus plus 2 E equal to H 2. This is of the same as what was considered before. Second reduction reaction which is F E 3 plus accepts one electron and it goes to F E plus plus F E 2 plus this is also a reduction reaction. So, these are two reduction reaction. And there will be only one oxidation reaction which is Z 
King plus plus. This is oxidation reaction. Now, as we have mentioned that there should be a rate of reduction reaction should be equal to the rate of oxidation reaction. Now, here we have two reduction reactions. So, you need more electron supply for those two reduction reactions. So, where from this extra electron would come to take care of two reduction reactions? It has to come from this reaction. So, the generation of or release of electron from zinc atom would increase or at the same time the rate at which zinc would release electron would also increase. It means that the rate of zinc dissolution would also increase and finally, it suggests that the corrosion rate of zinc increases. So, we have a system where we have multiple number of reduction reactions. So, here two reduction reactions, two number and one oxidation and that would increase the rate of corrosion. And exactly that is observed when we have zinc in, Fe, in the solution of dilute HCl where we have little bit of HCl2, Cl3 impurity. And of course, temperature and time, temperature and pressure both are same, both are maintained same. Now, in this case, this we can also have a consideration of uh, dissolved oxygen. Now, if it is containing dissolved oxygen, dissolved oxygen would also allow another reduction reaction. So, this reduction reaction for this case since it is acidic medium. So, then the reduction reaction involving oxygen would be this will be the reduction reaction and this is a very strong reduction reaction. So, we are having one more reduction reaction. Now, in this system we have three reduction reactions and one oxidation reaction. So, in order to maintain the electron supply for three reduction reactions, the number of atoms of zinc going into solution by releasing electron for the reduction reactions would also increase per unit time. So, the rate of oxidation or the rate of corrosion of zinc would further increase. So, as we see these three examples that in a system we can have one reduction and one oxidation or there could be multiple reduction reactions and one oxidation. But the total number of electrons supplied by the oxidation reaction would also increase because we have to maintain three reduction reactions. But at the at the end, we have to maintain the total rate of total rate of reduction should be equal to total rate of oxidation. So this particular concept will be clear and it will be quantitatively understood when we talk about mixed potential theory. So, this is a consideration where, where we have one reduction, multiple reduction reactions and one oxidation reactions. We can have a situation. So, this particular thing we are having if we try to see a situation. So, multiple reduction reactions and one oxidation reaction. All three uh, examples. Now, we have example like where we have one reduction reaction, but there could be multiple oxidation reaction. The classic example is if we have iron and zinc, this couple, this galvanic couple is placed in acid, let us say HCl acid. The situation would be like 
there would be two reduction two one oxidation reaction and if this acid HCl is pure as well as no dissolve oxygen. So, then we do not have any other reduction reaction except hydrogen reduction. So, this reduction reaction would take place and two oxidation reactions are Fe zinc these two oxidation reactions. Now, interestingly when we have individual individually iron is dipped in HCl or zinc is dipped in HCl, their corrosion rates are considerably high. But once we have this situation a galvanic couple of iron and zinc are dipped in if that couple is dipped in HCl then we have both this oxidation reactions going on and one reduction reaction. But interestingly that time our observation after some time if we take it out that couple and try to analyze we will see oxidation of iron is minimized. in couple condition as compared to when iron is immersed separately in the same acid. But at the same time if we see the zinc oxidation of zinc would highly would increase rather in couple condition as compared to when zinc is immersed separately in the same acid. So, what we are seeing qualitatively, but when we talk about mixed potential theory, we will also quantify that how much would be the reduction of iron, reduction of rate of oxidation of iron or how much would be the increase of oxidation of zinc. Here the reduction means I would say uh, uh, when uh, how much would be the uh, lowering or decrease in the oxidation rate of iron and how much would be the increase in oxidation of zinc when we have a couple and that one is dipped in HCl solution. And this is the very concept of sacrificial effect of zinc. And here also redox reactions are taking place. Here redox reaction we consider redox reaction. Uh, in this case we have 2 ox 1 red. But in our earlier situations this is 2 ox and 1 red or I would consider since we are talking about redox not ox red. So, we can put it as 1 red 2 ox this is the example couple of iron and zinc dipped in acid. Now, in the previous situation all three examples this is example fourth example three was 
zinc dipped in dilute HCl containing FeCl3 and dissolve oxygen, where we have 3 red plus 1 ox, 2 zinc dipped in dilute HCl plus FeCl3, we have 2 red reaction reduction and 1 oxidation reaction and finally, in the first case where zinc dipped in dilute HCl, we have 1 reduction and 1 ox. So, like that there could be number of oxidation reactions and there could be number of reduction reactions in a particular cell, but finally, we have to make sure that we have to see that the rate of total reduction should be equal to the rate of total oxidation and because that total rate of reduction and total rate of oxidations are same in order to maintain charge conservation. So, in these three cases we have increase in zinc dissolution as we go upward we have more and more zinc dissolution, but in this case we have a sacrificial effect of zinc iron dissolution decreases or minimized and zinc corrosion increases and that is the very concept of sacrificial anode nature of zinc on iron surface. So, let us stop here, we will continue our discussion on electrochemical nature of corrosion. Thank you.